It's no secret that depression can feel like a dark cloud following every aspect of your life, affecting your thoughts, emotions, and overall well-being. Yet, the effects it can have on your sex life are frequently left unspoken. While depression affects everyone differently and there's no one-size-fits-all experience, there are some common ways in which depression can affect sex. By being aware of these challenges, you can take the first step towards finding solutions that honor your mental health and your intimate relationships. So whether you're someone personally affected by depression or you're here to gain insight and understanding, let's explore some common ways in which depression can affect your sex life. Medical side effects. Medications used to treat depression can be beneficial for your mental health, but it's important to acknowledge the potential impact they may have on your sex life. Certain antidepressants may lower your libido and interfere with arousal. Never be afraid to reach out to your healthcare provider for guidance and support. They can work with you to find the best solution that suits your needs. According to Dr. Kimmel, your healthcare provider may consider adjusting your dosage or try suggesting a different type of medication. They may guide you through conversations with your partner, enabling you both to discuss sexual health openly. Remember the goal is to help you feel better mentally while also addressing any sexual side effects you may encounter along the way. With the support and expertise of your healthcare provider, you can find solutions that work best for you and your partner. Fatigue. Depression can leave you feeling utterly drained, both physically and mentally. Like an anchor, it weighs you down and drags on your energy, making it challenging to summon the enthusiasm for intimacy. UNC health psychiatrist, Dr. Mary Kimmel, says that when you're feeling exhausted, your sense of connection can fade away, making you and your partner feel disconnected. Picture this, you've made it to the end of the day, you're exhausted and all you need is to rest your mind. But for the third time this week, your partner has tried to suggest sex and you just aren't up for it. You find yourself feeling irritable and short-tempered. This emotional distance further hampers your ability to initiate or engage in intimate moments. By acknowledging fatigue as a symptom of depression and not a reflection of your love for each other, you and your partner can have an open conversation. You can work together to create an environment of understanding and patience. However, you may find communication difficult if you experience emotional disconnection. Imagine walking through a thick fog where everything around you appears hazy and disorientated. The usual passions, joys, and vulnerabilities which are crucial for relationships seem distant and obscured, leaving you in a state of emotional fog without a clear path to follow. You may find it difficult to communicate openly about your needs, desires, and concerns which can lead to misunderstandings within your sexual relationship. According to certified sex therapist, Laurie Watson, when things go wrong in your relationship, you may feel that it's due to your own inadequacies, which may cause you to avoid sex even further. It's essential to work on communication skills together, creating a safe space where you both can express your feelings openly and without judgment. Relationship strain. The symptoms of depression like irritability, withdrawal, and emotional numbness can create tension and conflict in your relationship. It can be frustrating and disappointing, but please remember that these feelings are not a reflection of your worth. Depression has a way of clouding your perspectives and making things seem more intense than they actually are. It's important to understand each other's needs and limitations. Try exploring alternative ways of expressing intimacy and finding joy in your relationship, even if it means taking a temporary step back from certain aspects of your sexual partnership. Anxiety and performance issues. Psychologist Uzma Rehman found that it's not uncommon for depression and anxiety to go hand in hand. Anxiety can have an impact on sexual satisfaction by contributing to performance-related issues like erectile dysfunction, whilst depression can make it harder to become aroused. Depression can also affect arousal by dulling your senses and diminishing interest in activities that once brought you joy. These challenges often intertwine, creating a complex web of anxiety, performance issues, and depression. Try to untangle the web by addressing these challenges openly and honestly. Remember, intimacy is not solely about performance. It's about connection, trust, and mutual pleasure. So be patient with yourself. Allow yourself the time to heal and rediscover pleasure in all aspects of your life. Remember, Psych2Goers, it's normal to feel frustrated, confused, or even resentful towards your body and mind. But please do not blame yourself. Depression is an illness. And just as we would not fault someone for having a physical ailment, we should not blame ourselves for experiencing mental health struggles. It's important to remember that depression is treatable 
and seeking professional help can be a valuable step towards recovery. Therapists specializing in sexual health can provide a safe space for you to explore these challenges and develop coping strategies. They can help you navigate the complexities of depression and its impact on your sex life, offering guidance and support along the way. If you found this video helpful, feel free to leave a like and share it with someone who may benefit from it. Thanks for watching.